What's up guys, English Dan back with another video. So today we've got another cell phone video for you. It's the eagerly awaited new in the G series. Hold it the right way up. G91 Pro from Blue. This is a $249 phone, but right now, if you buy it right now, you're gonna get it for $149 and with some extras. But I'll get more onto it shortly. Let's talk about the phone. Welcome back guys, so yeah, the G91 Pro. It's the budget gaming phone from Blue. And let me tell you, I've been pretty impressed with this thing so far. I've been using it for around a week right now, and I'm really shocked how they can make a phone like this for such little money. It is pretty damn nice. As you can tell from the packaging, you know, they've really gone for the eye catching with this and you know, the phone's the same. So let's start with the unboxing. All right guys, so what you're seeing here is the kit that Blue actually sent out. This is the media kit. And as you can see, it's full of goodies, including the phones, the two new sets of air, earbuds as well that they're, they're actually going with. So there's just a thank you card. Hoping that I love it addressed to me. Nice touch. I love things like this. It means, you know, that they actually care about who they're sending products to. Mug. The wife loved the colour. Wife's getting the mug. Absolutely. People say she's already got a mug. And that's me. Hmm. Anyway. T-shirt. We all know I'm fat. So I ain't getting in this large. But still. Nice touch. The wife will be wearing it at some point. Yeah. Anyway, what else do we get in this? This is, like I say, the media kit. So, these are the Aria pods. These are the lower end version of the two sets of Bluetooth earbuds that they've got coming out. We're Bluetooth version 5.0. Doing a separate review on these going forward. So, and these are the Aria Pod Plus. Now, these, as well as the phone being as low as it is at $149, these are also going to come with a phone at $149. How? How does that even happen? It's just insane. Let's just throw this stuff back in the box. That way I don't lose it, break it, or do anything I shouldn't do with it. Yeah, there we go. Like the way I put the t-shirt in there. I ain't good at folding. So, yeah, here's the phone itself. You've just seen me holding this. And there's the specs on the back of there. So when it comes to the G91 Pro, you've got a 6.7 inch Full HD Plus Infinity Dot Display with 2400 by 1080 resolution, 394 PPI. It's a really nice display actually. MediaTek Helio G90 processor. It's octa-core 2 gigahertz, 64 bit processor. Really snappy. 128 gig of internal storage as well with 6 gig of RAM. And you get a quad camera as well. So pretty, pretty impressive. So let's look at the phone itself. So as we open the box, the phone's there, just laying there straight away. Let's tip that out and we'll we'll show what's in the packaging. As you can see, it's the Fortnite phone and it does game really well this. When it comes to benchmarks, it's like over 100% quicker than its rivals, like the A51 from Samsung and things like that. So it really does pack a punch. It does have a plastic back, but it's very, very nice the way they've done a gradient on this uh, color. It's nice, it's graphite this, and it looks really good. As we go into the box, you'll see you get the wall charger that doesn't come with phones that are a thousand dollars but it's coming with this phone that's 150 bucks with a set of pretty decent earbuds how does that even happen anyway then you get this chromed out usb cable and it's a flat cable it's pretty cool pretty well built it's not flimsy or anything like that does the job and then next something you've not seen with phones for a long time and again, it's crazy that these come with us for the price of it, but it comes with a set of wired headphones because there is a headphone jack on the device itself. They sound okay, they're not bad. They're pretty good for free, put it that way. So can't be too disappointed with free, you can't beat. Then obviously you get your SIM eject tool that Apple sometimes does or doesn't put in the box of its thousand dollar phones. Then you get the blue sticker, the hologram logo on there. You get your little, uh, Quick start manual, obviously foreign language on the back, English on the front, you just flick through there. Everything's in color, easy to read. I don't know, if you're like me, I don't read them. I just figure them out as I'm going along. Then it comes with a case as well. It's quite a nice case, this. It's got like a carbon fiber on the inside with a TPU, soft TPU around the edges. Very rugged, makes the buttons nice and clicky as well. Decent case. And it comes with a glass screen protector. So as you can see, you get 
everything with this phone. It's like Blue have thrown the kitchen sink at it and cut the cost before it's even got available as such. I don't know, uh, I'm just shocked. Very impressed. So yeah, that was the unboxing. Like you can see, I mean, the media kit was great. I actually, it's one of the best media kits I've had. I loved it. It's not something I often get. Normally, they'll just send out the phone. I love it when companies got that little bit of an extra mile just to show, hey, here's the personal touch, especially with the handwritten card. That just lets you know that Blue really do care about what they're giving out, and it shows in this device. Anyway, let's carry on with the specs. Like I was saying before, you do get the 6.7-inch Full HD Plus display, and then you get the 128 gig of storage, which is nice, especially at this price point. That's really good, and 6 gigs of RAM, and that 6 gigs of RAM does help everything move around really quick and snappy really surprised with how quick this device is. It does come with a quad camera setup, so the way this works is you get your main primary camera that is 48 megapixel. Then you get a 5 megapixel wide angle camera, and then it's got a 2 megapixel depth sensor and macro camera on there. You also get a 16 megapixel selfie camera, and I'll get more onto the cameras in a, in a little while, but I'm just letting you know what you get for your money. It comes with a 5000 milliamp hour battery and wireless charging. It's a $150 phone right now, and it gets wireless charging. What? Fingerprint sensor on the back, very, very fast as well. I like these rear-mounted fingerprint sensors. I know the trend is now to do in-screen fingerprint sensors, but since I've been using a couple of other phones that have the rear fingerprint sensor and now this, I really think that's where the fingerprint sensor belongs. It's just natural where your finger rests, and it's faster than any in-screen fingerprint sensor. It just is, so... Yeah, more, more power to you, Blue, for doing that. You can also use a micro SD card. So you got your phones like the S21 Ultra that cost 1200 bucks that don't allow that. But this phone at 149.99 does. You can add 128 gigs, like I said, so you can double your storage up to 256 gig. Nice. And it's running Android 11 out of the box. So everything, you know, spec-wise really does line up. I know a lot of people might go, hmm, MediaTek, but that G90, let me tell you, a G90 is pretty snappy. So let's take a look at the device itself. So here it is. This is the graphite version, and it does look really nice. Uh, like I say, it is a plastic back, but it's not a cheap, flimsy plastic back on it whatsoever. It does have the logo here, Blue Products Inc. gives you the model number, the G91 Pro, designed in Miami. Yes, these are designed in Miami here in the United States. They're an American company. Bravo, it's nice to see that. Then you've got your camera array up here on the top right, and it doesn't stick out very far at all. They've done quite a good job on that. As you can notice, there's very little hump, and especially when you put the case on that's included, it goes away. As you can see, there is your rear fingerprint sensor. On the top, you get your just a microphone hole. On the right-hand side, uh, you get your volume buttons and your power button. Very clicky, very clicky and not loose at all. Couple of, I've done reviews on some of the uh, lower end phones before, let's say, and one thing I do notice in a lot of them is the buttons are very mushy and they rattle around inside the body of the device. Not with this blue, I've got this nice and tight. They've really, really designed this well. But then you get your power button, like we're saying, down below the volume buttons. And then across the bottom, you get your speaker, you get USB-C charging and your headphone jack. And then on this side, you get a Google Assistant button, which is awesome. I'm so happy they've gone with that instead of creating their own kind of assistant or tying it to something that you're never going to use. Google Assistant's like the best assistant out there. So it's nice that they've gone ahead and put a dedicated button on there. On the front, you've got this massive 6.7 inch display and it's plenty bright. Let me tell you, it works great outdoors, great indoors. You can turn it down, obviously, when it's dark at nighttime, so you don't blind yourself. That's how bright this thing is, but it really does look well. It's an LCD panel, so it's not OLED, but you can't expect that at this price. Even though they've thrown everything else in at this price, you do have to make some sacrifices somewhere, but this is a good panel. It's not a high refresh rate panel. It is a 60 hertz panel, but again, at this price point, I don't know why you would expect any different. It's just nice to have this really nice LCD. You see it's got the hole punch camera at the top. So I do have it on full blast right now when it comes to brightness. So I've just turned that down and you can see it's still super bright, this display. Come on. There you go. It's still a really bright display. Did you see that? Yeah. It's my birthday soon, guys. Did you see that on there? I'm 45 on August the 31st. Yeah. I'd like a Lamborghini. 
a Ferrari and a five bedroom mansion on 12 acres of land. Make it happen, guys. So yeah, that's what the device is like. Build quality on it is really good. I'm very, very impressed. Like I say, wireless charging as well. I just can't believe it's got wireless charging in this phone. I, I, I was so shocked when I found a wireless charging. It's like, what? But yeah, build quality on this, outstanding. Very impressed. Everything's very tight. Screen's good. Bottom bezel's a little bit bigger than the other bezels, so it's slightly non-uniform. But at this price point, again, this is a really good display. And it looks really good when you're looking at it. I've had a few people look at me and say, hey, what is that? And I tell them what it is, and I've told them the price, and they've been like, get out. I know, I'm telling you, I'm serious. People just can't believe it. Blue do a really, really good job in this segment. This market sector that they deal in, they really are outstanding and do offer a lot more than a lot of the competition does. Even phones that are more expensive than it. It really does offer a lot. Blue are really good when it comes to that. So what you want to know is, how is this phone to use? Well, let me tell you. You may have heard me saying through this that it's snappy and pretty quick. That fingerprint sensor on the back for a start is really accurate, super accurate. You can put extra fingers on there, not just the one, and it seems to hit every single time. I mean, I've got fat bare paws, and it hits all the time. It's not a problem when I do it. It's just a fast fingerprint sensor. So when it comes to unlocking your device, it's no problem. By the time you've reached into your pocket and touched that sensor and you've got it up there to look, well, guess what? Your screen's already been on and been on for a little while. So very, very easy when it comes to unlocking the device. Now, what you want to know is with that G90 Media Tech, is it snappy? Oh boy, is it snappy. I mean, it really is. It, it, it flies through. Uh, the UI without any issues whatsoever. Uh, I've not really used many MediaTek devices, let's say, but when I have used them, they were older ones and they did have issues with being quite slow, but this one is not that. The G90 is pretty damn good. You know, you can open up YouTube. I'm offline. Let me put this thing back online. I've got it in airplane mode. One sec. Okay, I'm back and we're back online. So, Hit YouTube. There we go. Everything loads up nice and quick. It's just a really snappy device. I'll play some music out of the speaker as well so you can hear that shortly. But um, yeah, I have no problem with it. Even in the Google feed, it's there. It's, you know, it loads things up perfectly fine. This is a really good phone when it comes to day to day use. I'm finding nothing's having to reload or getting bogged down. They haven't swamped this device full of extra apps that you don't need. Blue have kept it pretty clean, pretty simple, very stock-like. And I'm happy about that. I think it's, uh, it makes the phone that extra bit quicker than what you would do if there was a skin on top of there. So, yeah, bravo, Blue, for not tinkering around and giving us performance over what you would like people to use yourself. I think this is good. All right, so you want to know what the speakers sound like on this, and it's pretty good. I've got this on right now. Let's have a look. So we're just a little bit over halfway when it wants to focus in. Sorry about that with the camera, but yeah, let's see if we can show you. So yeah, just a little over halfway. Let's press play on this bad boy. It is just one single down firing speaker, by the way. Very clear with the vocals and things like that. I'm going to turn it up as well. Let's turn it up on full so you can hear it. Sorry, I pressed the assistant button. doesn't distort or anything like that and once it drops you're gonna hear it doesn't distort everything's very clear so let's move it forward so you can I'm very surprised on the the quality of the speakers or speaker I should say the, the single speaker on this sounds better than some of the more budget phones that try and do stereo speakers so yeah the speaker on this is pretty damn good like I say it's mono but hey it works it's plenty loud enough and has a little bit of depth in there so 
nice 150 bucks to 250 bucks you're getting a decent sounding device now when it comes to the cameras on this they're actually not bad for what you're paying for don't get me wrong it's not a camera centric device it's more of a gaming device so don't buy this expecting to get earth shattering photos but for things like facebook instagram TikTok videos things like that this will probably work just fine for you the 16 megapixel camera does do a decent job portrait mode can be a bit flaky sometimes on whether it captures the the blurry background it might look like it has on your screen but when the photo comes out it misses it so you can get that issue every now and then the main camera on there does do decent video as well only goes up to 1080p i'll show you some of that and this is 1080p on the main camera Again, not too hateful. Doesn't do 4K recording, just 1080p. But at this price point, you can't go wrong, really. This is the video. Walking directly into sunlight. I don't know what that notification was, but I got something. But from my screen, it doesn't look too bad, actually, from here, for considering how much this device is. I know that there's a lot blown out up here, but not bad at all, really. Also has Google Lens built into the camera software as well, so it's very easy to use if you want to use Google Lens. I really do like the way that Blue have gone about making the software in this phone. But yeah, the cameras are okay. They're pretty decent. They are kind of soft in scenarios, but like I say, it's not a camera-centric phone. It's a gaming phone, so that's what you got to expect. Don't be looking for anything like a, the Pixel or a thousand dollar cell phone. You're not going to get that quality out of the cameras. But what you are going to get is usable photographs in a phone that's a bargain price that really is a good buy. So while I don't game on phones primarily, this does run Call of Duty Mobile with no issues whatsoever. And it can run Fortnite. I'm no good at them, so I'm not even going to show you how they work, how they work on this thing. Because I am useless when it comes to mobile gaming. I have to use my Xbox. But yeah, if you're looking at buying a low cost gaming phone for like one of your kids or you just use it yourself, you're not going to go wrong with this. You're going to be quite happy. It doesn't actually, I mean, it gets warm as well when you do gaming, but it doesn't get overly hot or anything like that. It's not like some devices where it's hard to touch or anything like that. It's like, no. So impressive. So at the beginning, I said this thing comes with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery and it also has 30 watt fast charging. That's just crazy. And it does charge really, really fast. And the battery in this is lasting me a day and a half. Easy, easy. I think I could probably get two days out of it if I was a little bit more careful with using it. But I've been battery wise more than happy with this. It's one of the better battery life devices I have used. If you're after a device with a long battery life, this is it. When it comes to watching media and things like that, this big old screen on the front, let's show you when uh, I load up one of my YouTube videos. And I mean, it's hard for you to tell from over the camera, but when it comes to um, watching media on this thing, it is really nice. Let's turn the sound down. So this is my latest video, if you haven't watched it, not many people did for some reason, but whatever. But yeah, I mean, look at that. The colors are really punchy. Everything's very accurate on there. It's just really sharp and just looks really good. There's my fat head back on it. And as you can see, look, I mean, it's in the same place pretty much. I sit here at the same time. Even the lights are the same color. I didn't plan that, okay? That wasn't planned. It's just pure fluke. Now they've changed anyway. But yeah, that gives you a good side of this is behind me. Very accurate colors on this display when it comes to reproducing what you've been watching. So when you're watching things like Netflix or YouTube videos, you know you're going to get a really good picture quality out of it. And then with that single firing speaker, all right, it's only single firing, but it does have good audio too. So yeah, it's really good for media playback. So overall, what do I think of this uh budget device from Blue. Well, the G91 Pro for me ticks a lot of boxes. At this price point, you really can't ask for more. You're getting more actually than what I would expect a phone at $300, $400 to come with. You gotta remember you're getting the case, you're getting the uh, headphones, then you're getting the extra higher end headphones, the AriaPod Plus. They have a 30 millimeter driver in them, Bluetooth 5.2. Like I say, I've got another review coming up from them. In the next few days, I'm going to show you them both at the same video and let you know what's what and what's different about them both. But yeah, 
you get a hell of a lot with this. $149 for the first few hundred orders, so you better get in there quick. Links are going to be down below, but this is a hell of a device. If you're looking at a device you're coming up to the holidays and your kids want a gaming phone and you don't want to spend a fortune, you can't go wrong with this. Get in there quick and get it at $150 because you're not only going to get them the gaming phone, but you're going to get in the headphones so you don't have to hear them shooting at people and the phone going crazy. They can listen to their Bluetooth headphones while using this. Yeah, see? Very clever. Anyway, and if you're just looking for a, a low cost uh, gaming phone yourself or a phone that's nice and snappy with a decent camera but really nice software and something that doesn't get bogged down then you're going to love this device. I am really impressed with it. Very, very impressed. Hopefully I get to work with Blue again because I've really enjoyed using this device. I would really, you know, using this device, I'm like, I sat here yesterday and I was thinking about this. I'd love to see Blue make a six, seven, eight hundred dollar device just to see what they could do. Because at the $150 to $250 price point, these guys knock it out of the park. There's just no doubt about it. These are impressive. This is an impressive phone. So don't worry, don't hesitate. Like I say, if you're looking for a really good budget gaming phone, the G91 Pro is definitely for you. And if you're just looking for a phone that, you know, you're not worried about gaming, but you want something like say with nice, decent storage, a good display, plays media with long battery life and not bogged down with crappy apps. Again, this is for you. You'll really enjoy it. Trust me, you'll love it, to be honest. But, yeah, links down there. Like I said, be quick. First few hundred, you're going to get it at 150 bucks, and you're going to get the Ariapod Plus to go with it. All right, guys, this is English Dan. This is the Blue 91. Sorry, it's the Blue G91 Pro. I love it. You'll love it. I'm out. Laters.